Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. My name is John Simmerman, and this is part four of my ride out in the countryside outside of Delft in the province of South Holland in the Netherlands uh, from last November. I hope you enjoy it. Here's our canal. And this is a little side route heading away from back into the countryside away from Delft. I saw some folks having a little picnic there. My uh, my thought process here is uh, follow this canal a little bit and then try to work my way back in that direction finding a new route back into Delft didn't want to go the same way one of the biggest problems though of course is that these are very very large agricultural interests out here so there's not as many little farm roads. But I do see a church off across that expanse. So I think we can find some quiet village roads and possibly even country roads to ride on. Until such time, we'll just ride on this nice feats pod. Can't really see it, but the uh, that mound represents where the canal is. So the canal is just on the other side. You can see some of the irrigation canals feeding the farmland here. and lots and lots of greenhouses, hot houses. I'm assuming trying to continue to grow during the cold winter months, which are not far off. I believe tomorrow morning will be almost freezing at 35 degrees Fahrenheit. It's getting awfully close to that zero degree Celsius mark for freezing. And it looks like we're into a new, a different city, municipality, which is Probably the church that I see off to the left. And that family is making really good progress. They've dropped me. Kids are doing great. Oh, here you go. Here's some solar panels. Probably helping the agricultural cause, producing the electricity needed for the operation. It's an HR Solars project. Very cool. I can't really see into the, the uh, greenhouse here, so I can't really tell. If there's anything growing currently, a little hard to see through, but if we could ask the sheep. <laughs> they didn't have any answers. Oh, some chickens hanging out along the path. There's the farmer 
doing some maintenance along the canal, the irrigation canal. Don't know if you can actually see this very well. In the distance are some uh, of the high-rise buildings around Delft, most likely part of the university. And then we've got some other buildings in the distance over this way. A few church steeples are also visible. And our shadows are getting longer. Oh, look what started up. The windmill is moving now. Not sure what prompted it to get moving. The wind seems to be the same as it was before, but it might have been stopped for a reason. It might have been locked out. Yeah. Just kind of riding along. We shall take this path until we get into the city and then we'll navigate our way through this village and then navigate our way into the big city of Delft. The massive university town. tell but that family is right there in the distance cutting their way through that farmland we're heading this direction following canals both to the right and to the left And it looks like we're heading into Schleipuden. Please excuse my terrible Dutch. I'm doing the best I can. This will be a first for me. Rolling into this village. Should be quite fun. And we'll wander around in here a little bit and then we'll navigate our way back to Delft go find a proper meal See this bench right here? We're going to stop for a second because Gary Kennedy just sent me a message. Let's see what he had to say. All right, I'm telling uh, Gary that uh, I would love to meet up and I am in need of a proper dinner. Okay, got dinner arrangements all done. 
communicated with Laura a little bit about dental insurance and vision insurance, all that kind of good stuff. And we're rolling again. Okay. Let's figure out how to get back to Delft from this fine little village here. Okay, so we're just kind of rolling along here through this little town. We've got the canal to our right, and a little pedestrian bridge here. Looks like pedestrian area on that side of the canal. And I think this canal sort of winds its way towards Delta maybe. That would be cool. That would be very cool. Alright. Fun little red bike there. driver was going like, wait a minute, what are all these bikes doing here? <laughs> How quaint is that? Waterfowl on the water there. And we've got our bike lane once again. Alright, let's uh let's navigate to Delft. So Adrian Hostra number five. That's our destination. And we are 13 minutes away. All right, and we're on a pizza pad. The tram gate, we're leaving that little municipality. I'll have to work on the pronunciation of that one. And remember when I was saying about rollerblading? There you go. There's a guy out rollerblading, getting some practice in. This is a golf course. Saw that on the map, wondering what it was. It wasn't obvious, but there you go. And here's a little flock of sheep. Hello sheep, just hanging out, looks like they may have some grain hanging out over there. Oh, here's our rollerblader dude, is that the same one, or is that another one? That's the same guy, he is moving fast. I think there's somebody else behind us, or I'm moving very, very slow. Okay. 
off to the big city. Oh, look at this. Bulk pickup, garbage. Probably. They have that here too. And driver doing exactly what she should be doing, which is being patient. Oh, here's a cool little garden area. Nicely done. Getting back to that driver, yeah, she is being patient, waiting for it to be safe for her to pass the slower moving bike riders. And, uh, yeah, pretty simple. Well, folks, that's all she wrote for part four of my ride in the countryside outside of Delft. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell. And I'll be back next week with part five, the final part of my ride uh, back into the city of Delft. Until the next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.